dollar subscribers are really great. Go team! Thank you so much to each and every one of you who have recently subscribed to the channel. You helped me reach my goal of over 20 subscribers, and I really appreciate your support. If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, make sure to click the subscribe button so you also don't miss out on a single adventure. It's almost time for the Super Bowl. So today's adventure comes to you from the football field. We're going to take a moment to review some multiplication strategies. Go team! Today, during the football game, we're going to be answering some multiplication word problems together. So before we begin, let's review the strategies that we've used in order to answer those types of problems. Of course, our favorite strategy for you to use is to memorize your multiplication facts. But don't worry, if you're not there yet, you can use your strategies. The strategies that we've learned in class are using equal groups or using repeated addition you can also make an array or a number line. It doesn't matter what strategy you use to solve these word problems. Just use the one that you are most confident in and check over your answer more than one way to make sure that you get the right one. Remember, the answer is also called the product. So are you ready to answer some word problems today? Great. Well, let's begin with our first one. A family of 10 wanted to go watch a high school football game. Each ticket cost $8. How much money did it cost to get into the game? Pause the video and answer the problem. When you're done answering the problem, press the play button again and check your answer. I got the answer of 80. Did you? There's a penalty on the play. Did you notice that the student only wrote an answer? If your teacher's told you once, your teacher's told you twice. Always show your work. And this student forgot to do that. In order to show your work when you're completing a word problem, make sure to write out the whole entire equation. Show whether you added, subtracted, in this case multiplied, or divide, so your teacher can see your thought process when you were getting your answer. And when you get your final answer, make sure to say what it represents. If you follow these few simple rules, then it will be worth a touchdown. This student wrote down the problem a little bit more accurately to show more information that comes from the problem. 10 represents how many people were coming to the game. $8 represents how much each ticket costs. So what is 10 times 8? Figure it out and let's check our answers. 10 times 8 equals $80. In this case, the tickets cost the family $80 to go watch the football game. So, how did you get your answer? Personally, I counted by tens. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80 equals $80. The other team scored three field goals by halftime. Each field goal is three points. How many points did they have at halftime? Pause the video, solve your answer, and then play the video again when you're ready to check your work. As we read the word problem, we notice the word each. Usually, the word each tells us to multiply or divide. So in this case, we're going to get a larger number, so we want to multiply. We have three field goals that are each three points, so we're going to multiply three times three. What does that equal? When you multiply 3 times 3, you get the product of 9. So how did you multiply? Personally, I use repeated addition. 3 plus 3 is 6, and 6 plus 3 equals 9. So by halftime, the team had earned 9 points. Now that it's halftime, I'm really hungry. So this new problem has to do with the concession stand. We went to the concession stand at halftime to get four hot dogs. They were $2 each. And we also got four drinks that were $1 each. How much money did we spend? You may have noticed that this is more than one step. It's really a three-step problem. So pause the video, solve it the way you think it should be solved, and then press the play button again when you're ready to check your answer. I went ahead and figured out my first two steps at one time. 
So I need to figure out how much money I spent on hot dogs and sodas. There are four people buying hot dogs for $2 each. So I'm going to multiply four times two. And we have four people buying $1 sodas. So we're going to multiply four times one. Pause the video and solve that part of the problem. When we count by twos four times, we get $8 for the hot dogs. Two, four, six, eight. Then when we count by fours only one time, we notice that the answer to four times one equals four. But what do we do now to figure out the total? That's right, we're going to add eight plus four. Solve the problem and then check your answer. It cost $8 for the hot dogs and $4 for the sodas. So when we add those two numbers together, 8 plus 4 equals 12. That's your total bill. Our team scored five touchdowns during the game. They made their extra points, so they earned seven points each time. How many points did they have at the end of the game? Pause the video and solve the problem. Are you multiplying these two factors? Five represents the amount of touchdowns that were made, and seven represents how many points they got each time. So what is the product? What is five times seven? Five touchdowns times seven points equals a total of 35 points. Go team! When the game was over, our team won. So we decided to buy three shirts that were $4 each. How much were three shirts? Pause the video and solve our last problem. Our factors are going to be three and four because we bought three shirts and each one was $4. So what is three times four? If you said the total was $12, then you are correct. But how did you solve it? Well, if I were to solve it, I would lay out three shirts and put a four inside of each one of them, and then I would count by fours. Four, eight, 12. Which multiplication strategy did you use? Ah, oh, that's a good one. It's time for your math challenge of the day. So grab yourself a piece of paper and something to write with and let's start solving. You also need a few other materials today for your math challenge. You need a football and if you don't have a football, it's okay. You can use another ball that you have in your house. And you also need a family member who you can play this activity with. If you don't have a family member or a friend that you can play with, you could also watch my kids and track their results. Here are the written directions for today's math challenge. Have a friend throw a football to you 10 times. How many times did you catch it? You may want to keep track of that on a piece of paper or a dry erase board. Then calculate how many points you earned. Multiply the number of catches times six points because we're not including the extra point. Multiply those two numbers together and you will get your total amount of points. Then let your friend have a turn. Or call a friend on the phone and compare your scores. Who won? Be a good sport either way and make sure to say congratulations to the winner. Some of you may be at school right now and you're not able to complete this math challenge quite yet, but you can complete it later on at home. But for now, go ahead and watch my children play this math challenge out and then calculate how many points each of them made and then compare Mrs. Taylor's calculations and we'll see if we all came out with the same calculations. Before you play, make a table similar to this one so you can keep track of the results. As we watch Ashley and Carson throw the football to each other, Keep track of how many times each one catches the ball with a table similar to this one. Then when we're done, we can multiply and figure out how many points each one earned.
How many times did Ashley and Carson catch the football? Pause the video, fill in the table, and then check your answers with mine. According to my observations, I think that Carson caught the ball seven times. Ashley caught the ball five times. So to calculate how many points Carson gets, we're going to multiply seven catches times six points. Then we're going to calculate how many points that Ashley gets by multiplying five catches by six points. Pause the video and complete the multiplication and then check your answers. When you multiply seven times six, you might wanna think of it as seven times five first. That equals 35. Then you add seven more to that to get 42 points. For Ashley, it's easy to find the product. Five times six, just count by five, six times. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, for a total of 30 points for Ashley. So congratulations, Carson. You won the math challenge today. Thanks so much for joining us today on the football field as we reviewed multiplication together. If you liked today's video, make sure to click the like button. And if you haven't already subscribed, make sure to click the subscribe button so you don't miss out on a single adventure. Until next week, goodbye.